Jenna Batarmo swiftly led the Aggie women's track and field team to two outdoor national championships in 2010 and again in 2011. In addition to the team titles, Tarmo won nine combined medals at indoor and outdoor NCAA meets. Three of those were gold medals with relay teams. She was also an eight-time Big 12 champion in the sprints. Tarmo represented the United States in the 2012 Olympic Games in London, running in the qualifying round for the 4x100 relay team, helping them to a gold medal. One of the most decorated athletes in A&M history adds another accolade to the list as a Hall of Famer. Ladies and gentlemen, Geneva Tarmo. Howdy. In my excitement to walk up here, I forgot my phone where my speech is. So <laughs> I'm just going to wing it. Don't worry. I'll wing it. Um, Thank you all so much for being here. Um, I remember leaving Texas A&M. <laughs> Thank you. November 2011. I left Texas A&M with a bittersweet spirit. Um, sad that I had to leave because I graduated, but excited that I was starting my professional career as an athlete. 12 years later, I'm coming back. <laughs> um, not bittersweet, but overwhelmed with blessings. Um, I'm an Olympic gold medalist, a world, <laughs> a world champion, a national champion, a licensed therapist for African-American women, a mother, a wife. <laughs> and over the years, as I watched my teammates get recognized at the by the Letterman Hall of Fame. I was like, I wonder when I'm gonna get recognized. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, and then this year I told myself, I said, you know what, Lord? Although I would like the recognition, sometimes it's not about getting worldly recognition. It's about honoring the God you serve to the best of your capabilities, regardless of whatever happens. So I told myself, you know what? If I don't get it, I'm fine. because. I had a talent and I used it to the best of the abilities that God wanted me to use it to. And then all of a sudden I get recognized. <laughs> God is good. I, I'm very thankful to the Letterman Association. I'm, I'm thankful to my husband. Thank you so much. I told him I wanted to come, but we had a baby two weeks ago and I didn't want to put the baby on an airplane. So we drove from California. Not we, my husband drove. <laughs> I was an amazing passenger though. Um, so thank you for everything. Uh, I wanna say thank you to Coach Anderson. Every day I wake up and I just think about the lessons I learned when I was with Coach Anderson. From honoring your commitments to how to discipline your child. And I remember he said, you never hit your child when you're mad. You only discipline them with love. And to this day, that's how I am with my daughters oh, and my son. Um, to my mom and my father. I literally would not be here if it wasn't for you guys, so thank you. Um, but honestly, your wisdom, your integrity, your patience with me. I am very hard-headed, I'm not gonna deny that. But my parents, they've been so patient with me and they allowed me to grow and develop to become the woman that I am today. So thank you guys so much for that. Last but not least, Texas A&M University. I, would, I don't know who I would be if I did not come here. Um, like, I forgot what your name was, but you went to another university. I went to Tennessee, and then I transferred to Texas A&M. I wish I would have came earlier, but it's okay. Everything happens for a reason. I've made lifelong friends, one of which came all the way over here to support me. Um, I've made lifelong memories while I was at Texas A&M, and I'm, I'm so honored to be part of the Letterman Association, um, to be honored by the Letterman Association. And when I was here a little over a decade ago, this is not what the school looked like. I am, I feel like we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> um, so it's just an honor to be here. It's an honor to be recognized. But most importantly, it's, it's an honor to utilize the talents that I've been given to the best of my abilities and to glorify God in everything that I do. Um, 
I do want to also take some time to acknowledge Coach Henry. I did not know that you were here, but Coach Henry, it was an honor working with you. Um, and I'm so glad to see you. Um, and all of you guys, thank you guys so much. Um, Gig'em. 